Hello everybody, welcome back to another Molt Man episode. If you're new to the channel, I'm Molt Man, and today we're gonna do a little crappie fishing, hopefully do a shore lunch. I brought a uh, little grill and a pan and some stuff to cook with. Um, today is probably the best day of the summer. It hit like 92 today. So it's the lowest it's been in months, and it feels amazing. We got overcast skies, and we haven't been on this lake all year. I haven't fished this. I haven't crappie fished out here all year. I think we fished maybe at the very beginning of the summer, um, and we caught a bunch. So hopefully they're out biting today, but we'll see what happens. I'm going to slap the GoPro on, and uh, we're going to get to fish and see if we can get on these crappie. And we don't have to catch a whole bunch. I just wanted to catch a, enough on the shore. If we end up catching a lot more, that's good too. I always like to keep crappie in my freezer. So let's see if we can get on them. Now we're just looking for the brush pile. And as soon as it pops up on this screen right here, Hayden's gonna throw the marker out the back right side of, this, of the motor right there. So that's the start of the brush pile, a little piece of it. There's probably a bigger one over here. There it is right there. All right guys, like always, Little jig head, skirt. Hayden just smoked one. That's a second jumbo of the day. And a little crappie nibble. So dropping down, we are in 13 foot. We'll drop it down to the bottom. Were you in brush that time? Never felt. Cool. So this brush pile used to be on fire, but it's kind of washed away as time has gone on. And Anyway, drop it down to the bottom. You want to slowly bring it up. Give it a little jig, but we're just kind of free fishing right now. We're not in any brush, so, well, Hayden's in them somewhere. Oh, he thought he was. Getting us all hung up in the marker. marker. Both hung up. There's bottom. Missed him again. Man, that's a real subtle bite. It is. I don't know if it's a bunch of little ones or what. There he is. He ain't gonna keep. Quit it. Well, you got to go home with a little niblet. You're welcome. Thanks for playing. Get him? Little ones, man. Can't believe these little ones are out here in the deep. We're gonna move them out and run it. I miss that very outside of it right here, Mike. These ones the big ones like a little more of the brush. I think that brush that sits right out there. Thanks for playing. Still got my knee blat. Hayden got him out deep. Biggin? Oh yeah. yeah. Keep a keeper. Where is he at? He's on like a little bit further towards the boat. Where? Really? I just got slapped too. Paying attention to your fish. Golly, he smoked it on the way down. Before we get back into the brush pile, I just want to say thanks to everybody that went and checked out Marker 9 Rods. Um, I mentioned him in the last crappie video I did. Uh, he's just a small town rod maker. Um, he has all different kinds of rods. You can go check him out. His link will be in the description, but this is my absolute favorite crappie rod that I've been fishing it with for probably two months now and it is way better than any crappie rod I've ever had and he just made me a rod for the coast I mentioned that as well in the last video dad's taking it down there tomorrow um, to test that guy out and I'll be getting a lot of use out of it after baby mullet comes when we get down to the coast but uh, thanks again for everybody that went and checked him out um, if you haven't go check him out his link will be in the description and he can build you a custom rod or you can buy one of his rods that he has um, kind of like his rod series line. So go check him out and uh, we're gonna get back to crappie fishing. Oh, 
That's a chunk. Take that all day. Oh, Hayden's on on the marker nine. Oh, almost. I'm on, baby. He's right there at the top. Cloudy day. What's up with all these babies? I don't know. <laughs> he got the super glue stuck to him. For real. <laughs> that stuck to his mouth. Oh, there you go. That's a keeper. Maybe. Oh, yeah. Dude, I love this thing. It's nice, it feels isn't so it? so good. It's light. All right, give this. I actually don't like this pole at all. Really? It's, it's like heavier feeling. Like a heavier. That puts you right on one? Yeah. Right in the brush. Maybe. No, uh -oh. I don't think so. This ski boat keeps coming past us and messing with us. You got him. That was a big one, huh? Holy cow. Chunk. Chungus. Chungus. Name of the game, guys. If they're not biting on one brush pile, go to the next. This is our fourth brush pile. We've been here 45 minutes. And we have six or seven keepers. Probably caught 15 fish, 20 fish so far. But uh, on to the next one. Marker's out. What's she looking like? I'm about to go back over it and look. It's not bad. Yeah. Comes up a little bit. A See if there's any on fish it. on it. Chungus. I'll take that all day. The sun came out for us. I don't like because I'm starting to sweat. Got him. Take 20 of them. Get him. They're out there to the left a little bit. He'll keep. There he is. Nope. Today's your lucky day, buddy. Thanks for playing. They on this one. Yeah. We just need them. Need them all big. Big boys. That's a good one. He hit it on the. Yeah, he hit it on the drop. I don't think he'll keep though. Not today. Yeah. God, look how fat he is, dude. Marching. He got about 500 niblets in his gut. I mean, what else? Else? All right, guys. We ended up with uh, probably 10 or 15 crappie, but we got to get back to the house. So we are going to uh, pull up, go find a picnic table. We found a picnic table for you guys, and uh, we're gonna cook up some crappie real quick. So uh, this picnic table is perfect. Just you gotta wait till you see it. 
Oh yeah. I just hope there ain't a snake sitting underneath it. I know, right? Ah, this one will work. Yeah. Money. Alright. Got everything laid out. We brought a uh, this little uh cooker and then I got a pot, I got some butter, onion, lemon, of course some critter glitter, mulletman.net. And uh we're about to clean one up. I think we're just gonna eat probably one or two fish real quick and uh save the rest for the freezer. So um I'm gonna show you how to clean your crappie real quick and then we'll get to cooking. Little cutting board. Take a big old juicy crappie. And uh Y'all seen me do this a thousand times, but I'll do it a thousand and one. So I go at a diagonal angle behind the uh, gill plate down till you hit the backbone, just like that. And then you want to run your knife down the backbone all the way to the tail. Stop at the tail, flip it over. And take that meat off the skin. Just like that. There's your skin. Catfish bait. Or eagle bait. There's actually a bald eagle's nest right over here. Pretty cool when you get to see them. Same thing over here. And right now, put that fillet over. Now we'll take our ribs out. Just like that, there's your ribs. And you're left with two nice crappie fillets. All right, so we got the pan heating up. Clean the fillets off with fresh water, not lake water. Um, I'm going to chop this onion up, slice it up, put that in there just to add some flavor. that outer ring off just like that we'll just slice it up slice and dice just like that and then while this pan's heating up we'll throw the butter in there it is like super melted Oh yeah. Nice melted butter. And we're going to put some lemon juice in there as well. It smells good. That handle gets hot boy. We'll throw these onions in. Let those start cooking down. And we're going to dust our fish fillets off with a little critter glitter. So we're basically just doing a little blackened fish. Minus the olive oil. Just like that. We'll let this guy cook around for a little bit. Let these onions cook down a little bit and then we'll add the fish in there. And uh, it'll be a short lunch. All right, guys, our onions are uh, getting translucent, as Hayden Joe would say. He said that's the proper way to say your, on your onions are cooked. So now we're going to throw in our crappy fillets. This, I, can't, I wish we had smell-o-vision because this smells so amazing. We'll just let those cook up, and then uh, we got some forks. We'll eat a little onions and fish for lunch, and uh, then we're headed to the house. Okay. All right, guys, she's done. I'm going to cut the heat off. Just like that. Nice. <coughs> Smoke's going into my throat. We got to let this puppy cool down before I can taste it. All right, Hayden's going in first. You better try. Onion, onion and fish. Onion and fish. Got that lemon critter glitter taste to it. 
That's about as fresh as you can get right there. Yeah, that's good. Is it? That's real good. All right, let me try it. Get you some of that. You got a good lemon uh, flavor hold on. to it. One out of ten. Oh, it's Rona. Can't use the same fork, dog. We don't. We're I not. know. I was gonna give you mine. Oh. <laughs> All right, one out of ten. Oh, it's an easy eight. Eight? No doubt. I already tried a. Uh, I guess I'll do it together. Fish, fresh crappie, critter glitter, butter, onions. Only thing that's missing is a tortilla. And some ketchup. And some ketchup. That is good. I'll give that I'll give that an eight. Eight plus for crappie. It's not my favorite way to eat crappie, but this is definitely eight plus. I know we wouldn't starve if we were stranded on the lake. That's good. That's hot. But that is really good. I'll give that eight plus for sure. So we had a great time guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Something a little different cooking out here on the water. Found us an old picnic table that's uh, submerged. So this lake was dug well in the 80s. I think in the 80s. And um, obviously these picnic tables were here before that. So late 90s they filled the lake up is what happened. So they dug it in the 80s. and So they dug in the 80s up. and then they raised the level in the 90s. Gotcha. So, yeah, we fish the old highway all the time uh, that not a lot of people know about. So, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure y'all go check out Marker 9 Rods. Uh, they don't sponsor me. It's just a, just a small town business. Um, as you know, all these small town or small towns and small businesses um, need as much help as they can right now during Corona. So, uh, if y'all will, just go check them out. You don't have to buy a rod. Just go like their Facebook page. Give them some support. Let's keep them up and running and uh, go show some support to some small town local businesses. Until next time, hopefully I'll have a little baby mullet here. He's due. He was due yesterday. So in the next couple days, maybe tonight, it'll happen. So uh, hopefully we'll have a little mullet running around here before too long. But uh, if I don't see you soon, I have some videos for y'all. Um, while he comes because I'm gonna be taking a little bit of time off just hanging out with him and and uh, Helping angel out so hope you guys enjoyed it Make sure y'all smash that subscribe button share with family and friends hit that thumbs up and remember eat good